for you. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Tell somebody you need to be delighted in the Lord. It says trust in the Lord. When we look at the word trust, the word trust means refuge, security, confidence, hope, and sure trust. Amen. Ah, oh, man. Refuge. Security. How many know God's not gonna God God's not gonna not gonna hurt you? Amen? How many know that when God allows things to happen, He makes a way to either get you out of it or help you walk through it? That's the God we serve, amen? He's a full counsel God. <laughs> Hallelujah. He's never without options, and God don't never have to pull out of the directions manual or, or anything like that. He ain't got to call nobody. He just calls himself. Amen? Because he is the answer. He is the way, the truth, and the life. Amen? Amen. Bless God. It says, trust in the Lord. Do good. Do good. Tell somebody, do good. Do good. Stop doing bad. <laughs> Amen? Stop talking bad. Hallelujah. Glory to God. See, when you, when you begin to have a negative attitude, that takes over your entire, that takes over your entire day. Ain't that? Oh, nothing good's going to happen for me today, Brother Tim. Okay. Then it's not. <laughs> hey, man. Everything bad happens to me today. This, that, and that's not going to work. And this is, and a lot of times we look at everything that's going wrong, but we're not looking at what's going right. Amen? Hallelujah. Woke up this morning. Maybe you wanted to get a, a, a breakfast burrito and you didn't have money for it. Oh, I ain't got no money for a breakfast burrito. But at least you got up this morning. Yeah. At least you got up this morning. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, praise the Lord. Sometimes you got to celebrate the, what we consider to be little victories, which is actually a very big victory. Amen? That you got up this morning because had the enemy had his way, you surely would have been cut off. But God's mercy said, no, uh-uh, leave him alone, back off. It's not time yet. And some ain't ready yet. Hallelujah. Amen. Trust in the Lord. we got to trust in the Lord. He's our refuge, security, confidence. Amen. Have confidence in God. Don't have confidence in yourself. Amen. Now, I know that we have certain things that we can do and certain things that we're able to do. Amen. But at the same time, when you put your confidence all in yourself and not in God, now we're in trouble. When you put your confidence in another person and not in God, then you got trouble. Amen. Bless the Lord. That's how we get messed up. It says, Delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. Oh, that's a good scripture, Pastor Mason. Yes, it is. Let's break it down. Hallelujah. The desires of thine heart. Well, well, wow. He'll give me, if I delight myself in the Lord, he'll give me the desires of my heart. Now, let's, 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 let's make this clear here. We're talking about a regenerated heart, a renewed heart. We're not talking about an evil heart. Amen. Well, I want nothing evil. But I'm just saying, amen. When we, when we get God's purpose and plan in our lives and we begin to trust the Lord and God becomes the head of us and begins to flow through us, then his desires become... Amen. Ah, oh, bless God. Somebody just got mad, Dennis. So that ain't fair. God's desires for you are good, amen? Jeremiah 29 and 11, right? Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Anyway, so it says, trust, trust thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. Commit thy way unto the Lord. Trust also, there's trust again, trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. Commit your way. Amen? Commit your way. Your plans, your, your things, the things that you want to get accomplished, commit it to God. Some of us are afraid because we're afraid that if we commit it to God, he might change it. And if he does, that's good because he's God. He can do that and it's good for us. Amen? How many had God change your plans? 
How many know it's good? Amen? It's good. Hallelujah. When I first got saved, my plan was not to move to Delaware. My plan was to stay in Chester. But God changed my plan. Amen? And it was beneficial and good for me. God will change your plan sometimes. But guess what? It's going to work for your good. Because he knows what needs to be done. Amen? It says, trust also in him and he shall bring it to pass. Hallelujah. Commit your way unto God. Hallelujah. We got to commit our ways to God, y'all. Commit it to God. That means give it completely to him. Not 50%, not 5%, not 95%. He wants 100% of our way. He wants 100% of our plans. Amen. Bless the Lord. Tell somebody, trust the Lord. Amen. Sister Jillian, would you please read uh, Psalms chapter 20, verse 7 through 8. Amen. And Psalms 37 basically dealing with the leading of God. Amen. God's leading. How many need to be led by the Lord? Every single day, I, we need God to talk to us almost every day and tell us, Lord, I need you to show me where to go, what to do, how to act. Amen. Hallelujah. Sometimes you got to listen to the voice of the Lord first before you give a quick answer. Amen. Bless the Lord. Amen. Sister Jillian, would you read that, please? Yes, some trust in chariots and some in horses. Now, at that particular time, they were in battle. And they needed God to show up for them. Amen? Amen. They were saying, look, they got these horses, they got the chariots, they got all these weapons. But you know what's going to get us the victory? The Lord. The name of the Lord. Amen? So, no matter what we, no matter what the world is trusting in today, whether they're trusting in their finances, whether they're trusting in their abilities, whether they're trusting in uh, uh, their, their name recognition, or whether they're trusting in who they're connected with, amen? Connections. Oh, man, I got connections over here. You serious? I got connections with Gateway. Connections, connections. And connections can be good at certain times, Amen? But you don't want to put your whole thing in connections. Amen? Amen? Bless the Lord. It's good to know people. It's good to have favor. But the ultimate thing is it's best to know God. Because what if the connection goes south? Amen? Bless the Lord. So we need to be able to hold on to the Lord. Amen? Some trust in church. But they say, we will remember the name of the Lord in the midst of this. Amen? So no matter what we're faced with, when we need God's help, we need to understand that we remember the name of the Lord. We remember the faithfulness of God. We remember that the name of the Lord is a strong tower and the righteous one in, and they are safe. Amen? Hallelujah. So while people are trusting in all these other things and things are failing, we've got to understand that we have a foundation that is unshakable. So we've got to remember the name of the Lord. We've got to trust in the Lord. Know that God will order your steps. Amen? Amen. Bless God. And when God gives you favor with people and God gives you favor to open up doors and things like that, that's great. Walk in it. But don't let that be your foundation. Amen? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. We move right along. Bless God. Amen. Psalms 56. 3 through 4. So people of God, we have to really begin to trust in the Lord. Amen? we got to trust in the Lord. When you trust in God, that means that now God is taking over. God is running things. Amen? And when situations and circumstances come my way, I've got to begin to lean on the Lord. I've got to begin to lean on the hand of God and allow God to strengthen me. That when the enemy comes your way and says... That something will not happen. That something is going to happen. And it says that it's going to tear you up and things are going to come against you and destroy you. We've got to begin to trust the Lord and say, God is not going to allow this thing to happen to me. And guess what? If it happens, God's got a way out. Amen? Because, see, we can go through things and get stuck in it. Because we don't trust.